Hey guys, it's Young Mindy Chess here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about how to set up an SCP secret laboratory dedicated server. Now, I will be using Zap Hosting for this. If you want to do this by yourself, I also have a tutorial for that, so you can check this out. So the first thing you want to do is go into the link in the description, or it'll be the pinned comment, and click it. That'll take you to this site. Then what you want to do is either click... Um, server mod if you want mods on the server or if you just want to run a vanilla server go for vanilla I'm just gonna go for vanilla then you need to pick your server location there is a mixture between Germany London and Helsinki in Europe anyway and then you have um, the other ones but because I'm from Europe and I want to play with my friends in Europe I'm gonna go for Germany if you were just playing within the UK you can go for the UK and if you were playing in like Scandinavia um, Helsinki is probably the best. Then you have game server slots. So uh, I'm just going to go with 10 slots because I just want to play with me and a couple of friends. And then memory boost. Uh, if you're playing on uh, server mod, I recommend getting uh, some memory boost. I'm going to leave it at 2 gigabytes. Um, I think that's enough for most mods. Then CPU and host server. Now, if you are hosting a server where you're going to be having a lot of people, I definitely recommend upgrading to the better SSD. It'll just stop your servers taking a long time to load, and it'll really reduce that stuttering. Then there's also own IP address. Now, if you're just planning to play with friends, uh, I'd recommend going with no uh, own IP address. But if you want to hold a consistent server, go for own IPv4 address. Again, you can look here if you want to click... Um, and then you can see what it does. Then you can either go with pre prepaid or contract. If you uh, click contract, it's basically like a subscription service, and you can set when you get billed. And the you know the longer you pay up front, and if you put it in a contract, you get more of a discount. Um, if you just want to try it out, you can always go seven days and prepaid, and you can see what it's like. But I'm going to go prepaid one month. So I'm going to buy up this server and then I'll see you on the other side. So now that you've got the server, it should have been set up for you. Zap Hosting do everything for you. You don't have to work at all. But now we need to configure the server before we can launch it. So the first thing we need to do is go into settings. And we're basically going to edit the game settings. Now these are base settings that you need to have. Um, so customer email. I'm just going to put uh, youngmindhs at gmail.com. Server list. This is if you want it to be public or private. So depending on how you want to play. Um, again, it depends. If you put it on public, I recommend reading these server rules. Because SCP does have uh, a specific amount of rules that you need to follow. I'm going to leave it on public. Server name. I'm just going to call it youngmindhs. Paste bin. Now this is for the description of um, your server. So what you do here is you just click on the link there, go to paste bin, and say you can type in YoungMindHS is an SCP server made for a tutorial. Then what you would call the paste bin, you would call it like uh, YoungMindHS tutorial, and create new paste. Then what you want to do is copy this link and paste it in there. Then remote admin password. This is uh, a password for remote admin, obviously. I'm just going to put in something stupid and then I can change it later. Game port uh, and custom slots normally remain the same. And then save. This will basically configure the server for you and get it ready to go. Uh, okay, uh, I need a more... I'm just going to leave it in none at the moment. I want to see if it can stay like that. Otherwise, I'll just need to randomly generate a password or, uh, yeah. So I think I need to randomly generate a password. Set the password for remote admin. Remote admin can be cool. Minimum eight characters, right? At least one lowercase. So boom, boom. And a special character like that. So that should be it now. Okay, there you go. Just need to uh, make a password that fits the criteria. Then we can start the server. And this will start it all for us, so we're ready to go. And here you go, that's it started. So now I'll see you over in game, 
where I'll show you how to connect. So now that we're in game, I'll show you how to connect. So you want to go play, join game and direct connect. Now here you might need to tab out again and look for the um, IP address. So it's 185-150-2592. So that was 150, uh, 185, sorry, 185-150.25.92. And then the port at the end was 7808. Then you want to hit connect and it will connect you to the world. So as you can see that's connected and it was going to load us in there but no one else is in game so I don't want to join that. Then the other way will be through the server tab but for this you will have need to put in your um, email address into the SCP uh, lobby. Didn't realise I joined the game here. You'll need to put your email address into the config uh, that you saw me doing and you'll need to respond to an email that you're going to be sent before you can be verified and then you'll appear on that server page. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, it's greatly appreciated. And if you're new, subscribe. But till next time, I'll see you soon.